Latin America is a region of vibrant cultures, breathtaking landscapes, and warm hospitality. Yet beneath this surface lies a harsh reality, a pervasive undercurrent of violence that has plagued many of its countries for decades. From the crowded barrios of Rio de Janeiro to the rural communities of Mexico, the specter of violence casts a long shadow. This violence takes many forms. Gangs clash in bloody turf wars, their power fueled by the illicit drug trade. Extortion, kidnapping, and murder have become grim realities for many citizens. Law enforcement struggles to maintain control, often outgunned and outmaneuvered by sophisticated criminal organizations. The human cost of this violence is immeasurable. Thousands of lives are lost each year, leaving behind a trail of devastated families and communities. The fear of violence permeates daily life, limiting opportunities and eroding the social fabric. Despite these challenges, a spirit of resilience persists. Communities organize to protect themselves, activists raise their voices for change, and law enforcement officers risk their lives to combat the violence. The path forward is fraught with obstacles, but the fight for peace and security continues. To understand the roots of Latin America's current crisis, one must delve into its tumultuous past. The region's history is replete with instances of political instability, social upheaval, and violent conflict, each leaving behind scars that continue to shape the present. Colonialism, with its legacy of exploitation and inequality, sowed the seeds of unrest. Independence brought about new struggles for power, often resolved through force. Military dictatorships, fueled by Cold War tensions, further exacerbated the cycle of violence. These conflicts created an environment where violence became normalized, a tool readily employed to achieve political, economic, or social goals. The militarization of society, coupled with weak institutions and a culture of impunity, laid the groundwork for the rise of organized crime. Furthermore, the legacy of these conflicts continues to resonate in the present day. Deep-seated grievances, unresolved land disputes, and the proliferation of weapons fuel ongoing cycles of violence. Addressing these historical wounds is crucial to breaking free from the grip of the past. While historical factors have laid the groundwork for violence, economic disparities serve as a potent catalyst, driving individuals to desperate measures. Latin America is a region of stark contrasts where immense wealth coexists alongside grinding poverty. This economic inequality is a major driver of violence. For many young people in impoverished communities, joining a gang offers a path to economic advancement, a sense of belonging, and an escape from the cycle of poverty. The lure of quick riches from the drug trade can be difficult to resist in communities where legitimate opportunities are scarce. Furthermore, economic inequality undermines the social contract, eroding trust in institutions and creating fertile ground for lawlessness. When people feel excluded from the economic system, they are more likely to resort to violence to meet their needs or express their grievances. Addressing economic inequality is therefore essential to tackling violence in Latin America. This requires investing in education, creating economic opportunities, and promoting social mobility. By providing viable alternatives to crime, it is possible to break the cycle of poverty and violence. Section 4. The Narco Hydra How the drug trade fuels the cycle of brutality The illicit drug trade casts a long shadow over Latin America, its tentacles reaching into every facet of society and fueling the cycle of violence that engulfs the region. The insatiable demand for narcotics in the United States and other developed countries creates a lucrative market, attracting powerful criminal organizations willing to employ extreme violence to protect their interests. These organizations, often referred to as cartels, operate with a chilling ruthlessness. They engage in bloody turf wars, battling for control of drug trafficking routes, production hubs, and distribution networks. Their arsenal includes sophisticated weaponry, corrupt officials, and a seemingly endless supply of foot soldiers willing to kill for a price. The drug trade's impact extends far beyond the immediate violence associated with trafficking. It corrupts law enforcement and government officials, undermines the rule of law, and destabilizes entire regions. 
The vast sums of money generated by the drug trade allow these criminal organizations to infiltrate legitimate businesses, influencing politics, and perverting the justice system. Section 5. Beyond the Barrel of a Gun Social Factors and the Breeding Ground for Violence While the drug trade and organized crime play a significant role in fueling violence, focusing solely on these factors overlooks the complex social dynamics that contribute to the problem. Poverty, lack of education, and the breakdown of family structures create an environment where violence can flourish. In impoverished communities, where opportunities are scarce and basic services are lacking, young people are particularly vulnerable to the allure of gangs and criminal activity. For many, joining a gang offers a sense of belonging, protection, and a way to escape the cycle of poverty. Lack of education further exacerbates the problem. Without access to quality education and job training, young people have limited prospects for a better future. This lack of opportunity can lead to frustration, despair, and, ultimately, a willingness to engage in risky or illegal activities. Furthermore, the breakdown of traditional family structures and the erosion of social norms contribute to the normalization of violence. In communities where violence is commonplace, it can become an accepted means of resolving disputes, enforcing respect, or expressing masculinity. Section 6. The Iron Fist and the Velvet Glove. Government Responses and Their Effectiveness. Governments across Latin America have employed a range of strategies to combat the scourge of violence plaguing their countries. These approaches have often oscillated between two poles, the iron fist of military intervention and aggressive law enforcement, and the velvet glove of social programs and preventative measures. The Iron Fist approach typically involves deploying the military to combat organized crime, implementing strict law enforcement measures, and imposing harsh penalties on criminals. While this approach can yield short-term gains in reducing violence, it often comes at a cost. Human rights abuses can proliferate, and the underlying social and economic conditions that fuel violence remain unaddressed. The Velvet Glove approach, on the other hand, focuses on addressing the root causes of violence through social programs, economic development initiatives, and community outreach. This approach seeks to provide opportunities for at-risk youth, strengthen communities, and build trust between citizens and law enforcement. While the Velvet Glove approach holds promise, it requires sustained commitment and investment to be effective. Furthermore, its impact is often gradual and difficult to measure in the short term, making it politically challenging to implement. Section 7. A Mosaic of Corruption. The Eroding Influence of Corruption. Corruption acts as a corrosive force, eating away at the fabric of society and undermining efforts to combat violence in Latin America. From petty bribery to high-level collusion between government officials and criminal organizations, corruption permeates all levels of society. This corruption manifests in various forms. Police officers may accept bribes to turn a blind eye to criminal activity, judges may be paid off to dismiss cases or issue lenient sentences, and politicians may accept campaign contributions from drug traffickers in exchange for favorable policies. The consequences of corruption are far-reaching. It erodes public trust in institutions, undermines the rule of law, and creates an environment where crime can flourish. When citizens believe that the justice system is rigged against them, they are less likely to cooperate with law enforcement or report crimes. Furthermore, corruption allows criminal organizations to operate with impunity. By bribing officials, they can secure their release from prison, protect their assets, and continue their illegal activities without fear of prosecution. Addressing corruption is therefore essential to breaking the cycle of violence in Latin America.